Erica, Tom, this is certainly not the outcome Hunter Biden, the president's son, was expecting. And here in Washington, Democrats have called the possible plea deal a sign of accountability, while Republicans have framed it as a sweetheart deal. Hunter Biden faced a judge Wednesday to accept a plea deal that capped off a five-year investigation. Hunter Biden is a private citizen, and this was a personal matter for him. But after an intense three-hour hearing, the president's son instead pleaded not guilty to two tax charges after the judge had concerns about whether the deal would shield Hunter from any future charges. The president, the first lady, they love their son and they support him as he continues to rebuild his life. Texas Republican Congressman Chip Roy is urging the judge to toss the agreement as they ramp up their own investigation into the Biden family and consider whether to open an impeachment inquiry into the president. The deal we saw as it started mm -hmm. uh, was garbage. Louisiana Republican Congressman Steve Scalise supports an inquiry. It's just an ability to get more information. But California Democratic Congressman Pete Aguilar calls the efforts a distraction. There's no there there, but that's not going to stop House Republicans uh, from advocating things that they feel are harmful politically uh, for the president. The judge is now giving Hunter's defense team as well as federal prosecutors 30 days to satisfy her with this deal. Reporting in Washington, Rashad Hudson, back to you.